Amber Heard should stop her lawyers from talking about this trial any further. They're just making fools of themselves. The lawyers of Amber have been actively attending random interviews and talk shows to prove that the jury made the wrong decision in siding with Johnny Depp. They're finally doing their job in defending their client. But we think that it's too late for that. The dramatic six-week defamation trial is finally over. Why are they only fighting for Amber now? That whole time? They were just doing the bare minimum and we saw Johnny Depp's team crush them in court. Now, Elaine Bredehoft is at CBS Mornings. Johnny's team was actually invited to the show too, but they declined. I can imagine why. Elaine Charlson Bredehoff is the attorney for Amber Heard and is with us now. And we should mention, we did also reach out to Johnny Depp's team, but they declined to be interviewed. This the trial is already done. We know who is innocent and who is guilty. They should just stop there. The huge victory for Johnny Depp is a major setback for all women. Elaine says she thinks of all the women who have no evidence against their abuser. When Amber had all the evidence and the judge and the jury chose not to look at it. But look at all the women who have no evidence. Mm -hmm. All these women who suffer from domestic violence violence, domestic abuse, they don't have evidence. And basically what this jury said is unless you pull out your cell phone and you tape record your spouse beating you. Well, wasn't Amber's evidence ruled out as fake proof? Isn't that why they didn't consider them? But of course, Elaine blames everything on Johnny and his celebrity status. And that this is unfair because during the UK trial, Amber won with the same evidence. You know, winning the first trial doesn't automatically mean they'll win the next ones, right? They sound so obnoxious just because they won the first trial in a different country's court. Television. Mm. I, and I fought hard and lost that battle. So I, the hosts of the show were getting full of this too. One of them introduced himself as a former NFL player. He said that he would always try to look back if he made any mistakes in the past and asked Elaine if she and her team. Former NFL player. And after a hard loss, it's easy to wake up. As well as Amber herself, does the same too. They do blame Johnny a lot, don't they? It's always Johnny this, Johnny that. Elaine dramatically recalls the time Amber admitted she isn't perfect. Elaine also says that she would always read her statements, but still proceeds to blame it all on everyone else because it was beyond their control. If she and the other lawyers actually did a better job in defending their client, things would be in their control. Finally, someone put Elaine Bredehoff back in her place. She would go as far as ruining Johnny's name again just to say that she never made a mistake during the defamation trial. She also wants the truth not to prevail. She just wants her client to win even though the jury, the judge, and multiple experts and witnesses say otherwise. That's not a good lawyer, if you ask us. Thanks for watching. That's all we have for you right now. See you in the next ones.